The top line of the grades report shows the user's current grade in the course, the current class average, and the maximum and minimum possible grades for the learner at the end of the course. These are calculated by assuming the user receives 100% or 0% respectively on all remaining ungraded items. The calculation details of the user's current grade can be seen by clicking the calculator icon. The grades report contains an entry for each grade item in the course, and the headings seen here match the categories created in the grades tool. Colored icons beside each heading give a quick indication of how the user is doing in each area. The colors used and the corresponding percentage ranges are determined in the settings area as shown in another tutorial. Each heading can be expanded to view specifics for the grade items within it. For items that have been graded, the value of the grade and the item's weight are shown. In addition, once the item has been graded for other users in the course, a box plot is shown. The box plot shows the user's grade in context with statistical information about the rest of the class's performance on the item. The individual user's grade is represented by the black square. The maximum and minimum grades achieved by the class on this item are represented by the black tick marks at each end of the graph. In this example, we can see that the highest mark on assignment 2 was about 84% while the lowest was about 56%. The vertical white line indicates the median mark. In other words, half the users scored below this mark and half scored above. Finally, the shaded bars on the left and right of the median line show the lower and upper quartiles of the marks. In other words, 25% of users fall within the left shaded bar and 25% fall within the right shaded bar. If any feedback was given to the user on a particular item, this can be viewed by expanding the feedback link. The Objectives Report shows progress regarding learning objectives set up using the Competencies tool. Only objectives with an associated activity or assessment will appear in this report. sorted by objectives that are not started, in progress, passed, or failed. Each objective can be expanded to view the associated activity. This objective will be met when assignment 3 is completed and a grade of over 50% is received. On the summary progress bar, objectives that haven't been started are represented by white space. An objective counts as in progress if it has multiple activities associated with it and only some of them are complete. On the summary progress bar, items in progress are represented by the empty shaded region. The checkmark icon indicates that this objective was passed. This item is represented on the progress bar by the thin shaded bar. Lastly, one objective was failed, as indicated by the X icon. Failed items are represented by thin red bars within the progress bar.